Hello, dear students. Today, we will be learning about amphibians. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine who will help us learn today's lesson. His name is Frogsy, and he will help us learn about himself and his family. Isn't that right, Frogsy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's begin today's lesson. The word amphibian means two lives. That's because in early life, amphibians spend it underwater, but later in life, spend it on land. Amphibians are cold-blooded. This means that amphibians can't generate its own body heat. So if an amphibian is feeling a little too hot, they need to move to another area that is cooler to regulate their temperature. They are vertebrates as well. That means that they are a type of animal with a spine or backbone. You can see here in this x-ray photo where the spine is. Aquatic. Amphibians are aquatic since in their early life, they spend it living underwater. Here's an example. Tadpoles are one of the early stages of life for frogs. They breathe underwater through the use of their gills and swim with the use of their tails. Terrestrial. This means on land. As amphibians grow, they develop lungs to breathe and legs to move and live in land. Now let's talk about the characteristics of an amphibian. Amphibians have moist bodies. If you picked up an amphibian, its skin would feel wet and slippery. Amphibians don't have scales. Unlike fish or snakes, amphibians don't have scales. Instead, they have a smooth skin. Amphibians will die if their body dries out. Amphibians have a special skin that allows them to absorb water and oxygen, which stops them from getting dehydrated. <laughs> Some amphibians are poisonous. That's right, poisonous amphibians release toxic chemicals through their skin, and this is to harm predators. The poison dart frog is a perfect example. You might notice that it has bright colors to it. This is to warn predators that it is poisonous and should not be attacked. There are over 8,000 amphibian species. Let's start with frogs and toads. Frogs and toads are amphibians that have long back legs, short front legs, webbed feet, no tails, and large eyes. Salamanders Salamanders are a group of amphibians that share the characteristics of a long body, a tail, and short limbs. Newts are a type of salamander. Sicilians Sicilians look like snakes or worms. They have no legs and live in rivers and streams where they burrow into the riverbed. The largest amphibian is the Chinese salamander. It can weigh up to 140 pounds and can be up to 6 feet long. That's pretty big for an amphibian. The smallest amphibian is the Pedophrin ameoensis. It is found in Papua New Guinea. It is only 7 millimeters long. That's even smaller than a dime. And that is all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed learning about amphibians. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.